Hallelujah. I know we are out of time, but um, we'll try to speed it up. <coughs> are we in Isaiah 55? Let us look upon verses 6 and verses 7. Are we there? Okay, Isaiah 55, reading from verses 6, the Bible says, Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Call ye upon him, while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. And he will give you have mercy upon him, and the Lord, I'm uh, sorry, and 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 to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You know, when I was praying and thinking upon my heart, Lord, what will be the theme? What will be our drive this year as we embrace upon the new year? And I felt like this should be our pursuit as Home Church Fellowship, the pursuit of God. 2022 will be our pursuit for God. And the Bible says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. That gives me a sign that there will come a time that you will seek him and you will not be found. Are you with me? You know, right now, we are being saved. And when we are in error and in sin, or we, we fall on the wayside, do you know why we, we are quickened to repent? Yeah? It's because the spirit of a living God reminds us. Are you with me? The spirit of a living God leads us, and because we, once he convicts us of our sins, then we see ourselves, and then we begin to ask for mercy. Amen? You know, there are so many things you can desire to pursue in this world. And I can assure you, you can pursue and achieve. And there's nothing wrong. I, for one, would like to be at one point at my farm. Amen? I'd like to be at my farm looking at the chickens, looking at, uh, you know, vegetables, looking at... And, and, and I'm believing God for that. So I'm pursuing that dimension. But that dimension should not cloud my pursuit for God. Are you with me? I'm a believer in excellency. Amen? I want my daughters to, be, to get degrees. I want my son to have an ATPA and fly the biggest aircraft. And I'm, 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 I'm praying and believing in God that he will pursue that career. But that should never in any way eclipse his pursuit for God. Amen? So this year, I pray that you will purpose you as an individual, you as a family, that you will pursue God. While he may be what? While he may be what? Call upon ye. Call ye upon the Lord while he is near. So there will come a point when you'll be distant. When you've read, when you've read the book of Revelation, in fact, in fact, it's 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 Revelations, or is it is it is it Matthew, that gives an account of men who run to the rocks and say, "Follow on us." Amen. Follow on us, and, and and the Bible says, "Death will be far from them." Seek ye the Lord, while He may be found. So, if we're looking for a theme as Home Church Fellowship, this year will be a year that we drop everything and begin to chase God. Amen? And that said, that makes the, th the, the title of my message today just laying a foundation. I'll try during the course of the year to probably maybe quarterly just bring a theme in this line or monthly. We'll see but as, lo as the Lord gives me grace to remind us about the pursuit for God. Amen? So if you are writing down, if you've got a book and looking for a title, the message or the title is in pursuit of God. 
in pursuit of God. Amen? 2nd January is uh, just two days in the beginning of the year. And you will agree with me that in the month of January, men make resolutions. Amen? There's so many resolutions that are made. Yesterday, we were taking a walk with my brother, and we were seeing a lot of people running, you know, running around, and we passed by Tilgate. It was packed, people walking and everything. And my brother said to me, yeah, you know, resolutions. People are resolved. They are going to shed off a bit of kilos, <laughs> you know. And when I was looking at um, trying to check about when the gyms make money, this morning I researched January is one of the months when the gyms are fully booked. You know, so uh, 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 th there's a desire within men, okay? There's a longing within men to walk in a certain dimension in their lives at a beginning of every year. Amen? So we look at it as a new start, as a new beginning. And we begin to formulate um, dreams, hopes, passions that we can pursue. Amen? Let's go back to Matthew where we, where we began. In pursuit of God. Let's pick it up from verses 31 to 35. Yeah. Matthew 26, Matthew 26, reading from verses 31 to 35. Are we there? Okay, the Bible says, Then saith Jesus unto them, O ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you in Galilee. But, sorry, Peter answered, Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet I will never be offended. Take note of that statement. Amen? I will not be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. But Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Hallelujah. Resolutions. Amen? Resolutions. So, the Lord is bringing a prophetic interpretation of what was foretold a long time ago, that he's going to die. But a man speaking from the flesh with the zeal of a man looks upon the master and says, you lie. Let, let the whole world forget you. I will not. If it means dying with you, I will die with you. Are you with me, church? You know, we know how the story ended. It took a young girl the Bible records, to look upon him and says, he looks familiar. He was among them, and the man said, <laughs> me, no. <laughs> but but he, he did try. He, he did try in the Garden of Gethsemane, remember? Because when they were counting the weapons, he, he, was, he, was, he was very quick to count the weapons. You know, we, we've got two swords here, and I'm sure he must have had one, because the Bible records that he got one and cut off the ear of one of the soldiers. But the Lord restored it. Amen? But as time, so, so the, it, 
initially, the zeal to do what he wanted to do was there. Amen? The drive and the, 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 there was a willingness within himself. But this willingness was from the strength of a man. Are you with me? And as, as time progressed, when the fullness of time has come, the man took off. Resolutions. It's okay to plan. It's okay to assure yourself that I will do ABCD. I will do ABCD. Just I was giving an example about the gyms. Men desire within their, their flesh, say they are going to do it. But they can't pursue, they can't follow through with that purpose. Life is lived in the spirit and manifested in the physical. Amen? If we learn to embrace matters from the perspective of the spirit, we will manifest that which we are seeing in the spirit in the physical. So, right now, we are planning as Home Church Fellowship that our resolve this year is to pursue God while he may be found. Amen? But did I tell you that as we are pursuing God, as we are resolving within our hearts to pursue God while he may be found, to seek him, there are men that are pursuing wickedness that we may not amount to anything in this year. Did, did you ever think of that? Do you know that there are covens where men are slaughtering animals and sacrificing blood that this year should be your last? You know, where, 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 where I come from, I come from Africa. And if you want a place where you can see the manifestation of the spiritual world, Beyond what you can ever think of or imagine, you need to visit some of these places. It is in the book of Esther where we see a record of a man, Haman, who was diligent for one year plotting for the fall of Israel. So when you, you stand and take a position and say, this year I'm going to pursue God. Evil authors also take their position to say, this year we are going to bring them down. So if you are going to make resolves, if you are make, going to make plans, hopes and aspiration, based on your own strength, based on your own abilities, you will not go anywhere. If as home church fellowship, we desire that we want to pursue God. But this is that it looks nice on the flare or on a flyer or it, it just sounds good that we are looking spiritual. It, it, it won't help us. Hallelujah. I, 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 are you with me? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Every single day when we awake, even when we sleep, we are at war. And I can assure you, spirits don't rest. Spirits don't rest. The devil is a spirit. Evil sp demon powers are spirits. You go to sleep, they are at work. You wake up in the morning, they are at work. So if you are making resolutions because you have a degree and you're saying today you are going to hope and work so much, so that you, it's, it, it, you end up frustrated by the end of December 2022. But what we are saying is we have resolved to pursue God. But how do we attain? How do we become that which we are desiring in God? Hallelujah. How do we gain traction? Because pers to pursue, you, you know, pursuant, you chase. In the military, if, 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 if there's a raid, 
I like giving me that examples because that's my background. Amen? If this is a camp and the enemy comes and raids this camp and they, they, they raid and come, get a couple of things and they go, we may quickly organize ourselves and do what we call a hot pursuit. The idea is before they go far, let us revenge. Amen? So it means as we are pursuing, we won't be walking with our hands in the pockets. Amen? We will, we will be running towards so that we catch up with them. It's pursuit. We are pursuing them. Now, if we are in pursuit of God and we have come to understand that our resolutions, if we perceive and we desire that we are going to pursue after God, but we do them in the flesh, it will not amount to anything. Hallelujah. So how do we navigate? How do we pursue God? How do you pursue God? That you may find him. You, you, you have seen the, the wheels of a tractor. Amen? And you have seen the wheels of uh, a, a small car. You've seen the difference. What's the difference with the tire of, uh, of, uh, of a tractor? It's big and the grip, the truck, it, it's got bigger, what do you call them? Ridges or threads. The other one, because the traction that the tractor requires for it to pull is more as compared to a smoker. Now, we are in the season where the Bible says, darkness and gross darkness shall cover the people. You've read of Isaac, the one? Amen? Darkness and what? Gross darkness. So, yet in the same season, in the same time, where darkness is trying to cover the people, you and me are resolving that we are going to pursue God. <laughs> when wickedness is enveloping everyone, when you switch on the television, it is everything to lure you away from God. And yet you, you stand and say, I'm going to pursue God. <laughs> How do you do that? We need traction. We need a certain traction in the spirit that is beyond the standard that we have always known. Are you with me? And this, this, this year, one of the key elements for us to gain traction in pursuant of God is embracing the spirit of God. Knowing how to embrace the Holy Spirit. Because without the power of the Holy Spirit, without the quickening of the Holy Spirit, we are all wasting time. Jesus Christ, for him to do what he did, he needed the very power of the Holy Spirit. You see men working miracles and you honor and revere them, it is well. But without the power of the Holy Spirit, they are nothing. You know, whereas as a man in the physical world, you can go and get a, a, a doctorate in engineering, and you can, you, you can create things, you can create marvels, big aircraft, that wisdom is possible within the dimension of this world. Are you with me? But when it comes to the matters of the Spirit, if you are going to pursue God, the first thing you need to embrace the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit needs to be your best friend in this year, 2022. If you know how to interact with the Spirit of a living God, you will begin to get traction in the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 17. Embracing the Holy Spirit. Knowing how to interact with him. There's the God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Where is God the Father? Where is God the Father? Where is God the Son? 
Where is God the Holy Spirit? So if we know how to embrace the spirit of a living God, we will go far. So we do not do things out of the flesh. We do not just do programs. We seek the counsel of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 and 17, this I say then, walk in the spirit. Walk in the what? Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. That's how you gain traction when you are in pursuit of God. Because trust me, the flesh, the body, and will last after so many cares of this world. There will be so many distractions. But when you begin to embrace the presence of the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit, you will walk in the Spirit. You will not gratify any disturbance that comes around you that emanates from the flesh. Amen? For the flesh lasteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another. So, they, so ye cannot do the things that ye would. So you, 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 your, 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 your desire is that this year I'm going to pursue God. And for me to begin to pursue God, I'll wake up at 4 a.m. and pray. It's a good resolution. Amen? It's a good desire. Amen? To wake up in the morning and, and do what? And pray. And then you do it probably for one week. And before you know it, a Friday comes. You are so tired during the week. And 4 a.m., probably you set an alarm, and the alarm goes on, and your body just refuses. Your body just refuses. I am tired. <laughs> Amen. It is the spirit of the living God that will quicken for you to arise above that tiredness and begin to be on your knees and begin to cry to God. That resolve on its own, just as you, as Angie, you will fail. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. You know, you know where the Bible says, uh, deep goes unto deep? My own is a challenge. My wife will tell you. Doesn't the Lord wakes me up at awkward hours, 2 a.m. And I'm like, but, <laughs> okay, maybe just for today. Following day, 2 a.m. I'm like, but Lord, I, I, I am tired. But you see, wh what is ahead? I, as an individual, as, as a man, I have got no idea. Are you with me? But victory, that's what I was saying, life is lived in the spirit. There is a dimension that is about to manifest. As far as I'm concerned, I, 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 I've got no idea. But the spirit of a living God is aware. And God knows to say the dimension you're about to enter desires for you to pay a price, to die a little, to, to, to plant and seed in prayer more than the normal average. And that is only attained by this. So the spirit of a living God knows. So the key is for me to walk in obedience. And as I walk in obedience, after three years, probably after two months, or after one week, I will see why I was having sleepless nights. Because the spirit of a living God knew what it was, and it was trying to quicken me. So even if my body is saying I am tired, I rely on the spirit of God. Lord, grant me grace. Lord, grant me grace. When I wake up, probably I'll put in a song, Father, renew my spirit. Quicken me, quicken me, quicken me, until I begin to rise up and begin to soar upon the wind by the spirit of a living God. So you need the spirit of a living God for you to gain traction in the spirit. Hallelujah. The second thing that you need is prayer. Amen? Prayer. Uh, I'm not talking about the prayer we pray when we want to eat. Amen. You know, it's, it's, you don't wake up at 3 a.m. to pray because you want, you want a pair of jeans. <laughs> or because I'm talking about prayer. Amen. So, 
The second point for you in pursuit of God, because we are trying to pursue God, and for us to gain traction, we need to learn how to pray. The Bible says in Luke 1, so Luke 18, verses 1 to 8, just four things. So that's the second thing, then we'll do two more, and we'll be closing. So one, we need to learn to interact with the Holy Spirit. We need to embrace him. We need to master him. We need to know him. Amen. The second thing we need is prayer for us to gain spirit so that we can pursue this God and perhaps find him. The Bible says he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. How do you seek him? <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says in verses 1 of Luke 18, And he spoke a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and faint not. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow. Now, you see, when, when some of the, some of the uh, figures that the Bible tried to highlight, they are significant. Widows, you know, the pride of a, man, of a woman back in that time and in their culture is when she's married or when she's with a man. Amen? So when a woman is widowed, it's like they're not regarded that much. It's like they have become less of the society. So what Jesus is trying to paint to show them is here is a person that in your culture, in your society, you may have regarded as less. Okay? And he says, and there was a widow in the city, and she came unto him saying, avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said, and shall not God avenge his elect, which cry day and night unto him. Which cry for how long? For how long? Shall, and shall not God avenge his elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. I pray that when the Son of Man comes, he may find faith in me. I pray that when the Son of Man comes, he may find faith in you, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Prayer is communion with God. Prayer is the only way that you know the things that are in the spiritual realm are caused to begin to make manifest in the physical when we ask of the Father in prayer. So if you want to seek traction of how to pursue God, the only way you are going to learn how to know his voice, who he is, is in the place of prayer. Because it is in that place of prayer where he will begin to reveal himself. So if we are going to pursue God this year, we need to adjust our way of prayer and dig in than we did last year. Because he says, seek God while he may be found. Hallelujah. Someone once said, it, it was a quite a, a statement that uh, it was heavy, and I thought, actually, it makes sense. He said, prayerlessness is is like going in league with the devil. D did you hear that? Prayerlessness is siding with the devil. <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds, but, but to some extent it is true. Because the, 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 if, if you do not pray, it's like you're giving power to the enemy to begin to have a few day in situations. So if we are going to pursue God, the one way, one channel that we are going to use is the channel of prayer in this year. When we do not pray, we are basically actually 
uh, sabotaging our own lives and endeavors. If you want to find God, you'll find God in a place of prayer. There are few men, there are few men, and there are specific po points where men have abruptly stumbled upon God. But you discover that when you, you carefully study the life of that man, the impact that they will have on mankind is, 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 is huge. But when they stumble upon man, the first time they will stumble upon him, but their, their stay in God is characterized by prayer and seeking his face. So this year, I pray that for us to have traction to find God, we need to ride upon the power of prayer. Amen? Number three, if you're writing down, the word. The word. Amen? So you need to be in league with the Holy Spirit because he is the one you need to do anything in this world. In this world. Even me as a man of God, if I lay hands upon you and you get healed, it's not because last one has suddenly become powerful. It's, it, no. If I prophesy and bring a word and you look at me and go like, oh, it's not me. It's not me. Without the spirit of God, I'm just as useless as any man in the streets. What makes a difference in all of us, even for us to be sustained, it's the spirit of a living God. So embrace the power of the Holy Spirit. As you pursue God in 2022, Second thing you need is to embrace the power of prayer. In there, you will find God. The third thing is the word of God. Amen? The Bible says in John 1, chapter 1, John 1, verses 1. John chapter 1, verses 1. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was what? In the beginning was what? And the word was what? And the word was what? So, 2022 is in pursuit of God. So what are you going to pursue? <laughs> are you with me? You need to take seriously the reading of the word of God. You know, sometimes I've talked about regimentation. Amen? It's something that you purpose within your heart that you are going to do it. Amen? Make it a point that you will read the word of God because that word is life. You want to know the mind of God, read the Bible. He will speak to you as you read the Bible. Don't read the Bible because you want to, you know, back in the days when we were young, I remember my aunt would, there was this, and actually I, I, I discovered that this wasn't just in Zambia. I listened to one of the men of God that were sharing, they called it Bible turning. Where you just open the Bible and then you put a finger and then you read, ah, this is what God is saying. Some of you have done that. You know, I, I know I've done that. You know? You open the Bible, and then you go like, ah, how about if he says today you shall die? What do you do? <laughs> Amen? So, don't read the word that way. Take a deliberate time. Seclude yourself. Be quiet. Pick a book. And begin from chapter 1. And systematically follow through until the book ends. Amen? And then pick up another book and follow. If you want, you can start from Genesis. If you want, you can start from Psalms. If you want, you can start from the, 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 the Gospels. But what I'm saying is take time to read the word of God. John brings a revelation that this God you are pursuing has encapsulated himself in the word which is with you in your house daily, 24-7. So the onus is on you and me. If you want to pursue God, pursue him and read the word of God. That's how you are going to get traction, to know where he is. If he's going to speak, you, you, you remember when Jesus was on the Mount of Olive before his, his passion? Remember, remember what he quoted? 
He says, tonight you, all of you will do what? Will, 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 will go away from me because it is written that smite the what? Smite, smite the sheep and the sheep will do what? Scatter around the world. It was the word that was quoting. So you want to know what God says about you? It's here. Before you begin to run to men, it's here. When, when, when that depression comes and you're looking for a prayer, it's in here. For I have loved you with an everlasting love. If you are looking for, for an answer and, and stress is, is weighing over your mind, it's here. How good are your thoughts over me, O Lord? If I were to count them, they were as the sand of the sea. It's here. So for you to get victory, it's because you have let this word in here. So when the enemy comes with a lie, you fall upon the word. In temptation of Jesus, turn these stones into the bread. It is written. Are you with me? So you're going to pursue God and be victorious once you have come to read and learn and understand the word, the truth. Especially in this time where there's so much junk everywhere. You don't even know what to believe. You want the truth? There's only one book that has remained as truth, the Bible. So this year, as you trust on the spirit, as you focus on God, read the word. Amen? Psalm 119. Listen to the wisdom of David. As we conclude. Psalm 119 verses 103. Let's see. 103 to 105. The word of God. You need to read the Bible. You know, we thank God for the ministers of God. We thank God for the pastors and apostles. But if you do not embrace the power of the word and the mystery of the word, you'll be frustrated. Many questions that we have in this life are in here. Amen. We are on a journey. This is January, 2nd January. If there are 365 days in a year, so meaning there is 363 days left to walk. In it. So we are on a pilgrim. Amen. What does David say in Psalm 119 verses 103 to 105? How sweet are thy words unto my test. Ye sweeter than honey in my mouth. When your soul is bitter. When your spirit is in a mess. Read the word. Are you with me? Read the word of God. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Most of you have grown up in Europe. Probably a few of you have grown up in Africa. You know, you may never understand, probably maybe the older people, but you may not never understand the use of a lamp. You know the lant lantern or the lamp? Whereas the torch will shine a distance where you can see beyond, a lamp only shines a certain radius. Are you with me? I want you to pay attention. Thy word is a what? A lamp unto my what? My feet. In the time of David, there was no electricity. So I want you to understand where David is coming from. So when you lifted the lamp... The lamp was only giving light as far as probably the eyes can see. Just a small radius. That's how it could illuminate. So if thy word is the lamp unto my feet, and today is 2nd January, I've got another 363 days for me to, to, to walk. It means every day, if the, lamp is the, if, if the word is the lamp unto my feet, when I read, I get illumination and lighting only where I should step for today. So meaning tomorrow, I again need to lift that lamp so that I can see where I will step the next day. Are you with me? So the word is not because you read yesterday, then it covers you for the next three weeks. Next you come and lift the Bible, you are, you are hitting dust the dust. No. Because you get the revelation of what you should do in that day, in that word, daily. It's not a torch. 
that shines 365. No, no, no. It only shines a lamp unto my feet. So if I'm walking, I lift my foot up to here. That's enough. If I switch off this lamp and take a foot next, I may stand in the ditch. Because I'm not seeing where I'm going. That's what happens when you don't read the word. Your navigation is dependent on the light. And that light is the word of God. So read it daily. Are you with me? So you, you, you want to pursue God? You need the light. Hallelujah. You want to pursue God? Here is the light. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was the light of the world. And the word became flesh. And David, in the wisdom of God, is saying, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. You need wisdom this year? Read the word. For the word brings understanding. Your soul is vexed. You want, to, you want it to be sweet? Read the word. When you read upon the word, it becomes as sweet upon your tongue. Are you with me? So you want to pursue God. Embrace the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You want to pursue God? Embrace the grace of prayer. Tarry in prayer. Tarry in prayer. Regiment your life. Tarry in prayer, I repeat. The sons of the devil are diligent. <laughs> I can never emphasize this point. Men that administer priesthood in wickedness, they are diligent. Yes, the only example I can give you is, 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 is Haman. If you're looking for evidence, they don't slacken. If they said to this year 2022, you will die. If you are not careful, if you do not hide in the shelter of the Most High, you will die because they don't slacken. It is by the mercies of the Lord that we are here. Are you with me? It's not because we are clever. It's not because we had finances for us to have food and the shelter and pay bills. No, no, no. It is the mercies of the Lord that we are here. So embrace the dimension of prayer and read the word of God. Hallelujah. I think we'll end here. By the grace of God, I'll try to remind us during the course of the year of this theme. You know, we, we can set themes. You know, this year the Lord will open floodgates. This year you will increase a multiple whatever. You know, everything is in God. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You want a blessing? Be obedient. They will follow you. So what is the key? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all will be added unto you. Amen. It is our season. In this year, purpose in your heart. Amen. If you are fathers, can I see fathers in here? Fathers, purpose in your heart that you will pursue God and not just you, you and your children. Some of you are single mothers. Some of you live alone. If you are single mothers, purpose that you pursue God as an individual, your children will follow suit. If you live alone, it's even better.